Hello, I'm uh, Sheriff Mark Gower with the Iron County Sheriff's Office in Southern Utah, and uh, my job is to uh, uh, patrol the unincorporated areas of Iron County as well as operate the county correctional facility. So one of the main issues that we have within the state of Utah is that statewide, the, the officers are down 600 throughout the state. Agencies have that open and void area to try and fill 600 slots. Uh, where we've lost some deputies both from corrections and patrol to uh, agencies that are offering these incentive packages. And it, uh, it's created a deficit uh, employees here that uh, has re resulted in uh, um, lots of overtime uh, for the deputies, both corrections and patrol that are working, and, uh, and just general staffing shortages that uh, uh, put in, in, a, in, in the long run public safety at issue because we're not running at full staff and employees are starting to get burned out because they're working so much. Uh, here's where we control all movement within the correctional facility as far as for inmates and, in, and uh, corrections deputies. Staff shortages over here have re uh, resulted in uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of overtime costs and uh, employees, uh, sheriffs, uh, corrections deputies uh, working uh, more hours than, uh, you know, the, than they, they really should be because of our shortages. And uh, you know that it's tough on them when they're away from their families that much. Uh, they get burned out. Uh, they, uh, it, but you know, it, it just has an effect on them that you know eventually they want to see a light at the end of the tunnel where they can uh, not put in so many hours. Uh, but as far as them doing their job and doing it well, uh, that that's still in place. They still uh, come to work every day, with their game face on, ready to go to work. Uh, but some of them are working. Uh, uh, in a two-week period, some of them are putting in upwards of 150 hours in, in a two-week period to cover the, shift, the staff shortage over here. It, it, it's a struggle, and there's a lot of things that uh, contribute to it. And, uh, and I think on a local level, level, we're doing everything we can to attract people into this profession. But again, it's going to come down to our senators and our, our uh, representatives that in in state, in state government listening to law enforcement leaders have a plan moving forward to keep recruiting and retaining employees because in the long run we lose good employees it, it's an expense to the taxpayer it's not uh, it costs the taxpayers money when we have to retrain and so our incentive is to maintain and retain our employees so that's not a burden to the taxpayer